the law goat baby i'm back with another banger for you guys check it out it's me on a resource packing up some pug not a big deal normal occurrence a day in the life everything we're used to seeing so are you ready for me to give you the keys the keys to the kingdom the keys to the pvp world this video is gonna give it to you, you know what I'm saying? Like I've told you guys before, it's not even like a secret anymore. I keep reiterating the same things over and over again. It's all about being tanky. This guy's standing in his ulti, he can't do nothing to me. He catches the bags because I am tanky. Not a tank, but tanky. Uh, the whole video is just gonna be clips from Greyhost and Blackreach of me obliterating players and just being the goat that I am but uh yeah the the sets you need to wear the things you need to do to be good in this game are are pretty are pretty simple man sets like pariah and iron blood are gonna are gonna be able to carry you so you can sustain damage you know and, and be able to, to put out put out damage you wear sets like uh new moon and battle works you know these kind of these kind of builds are are, are basic you know a basic b as we'd say a little pumpkin spice action be basic but it works you know everybody else is running three dps sets like that's going to get the job done you know you're going to get packed up don't do that you know only do it if you're on a night blade because then you could spam cloak a hundred times like a newbie you know i'm a night blade i'm invisible look at me you know that kind of stuff here's some footage of uh, me and my bestie most coolest, most friendliest, most best friend, uh, Lud, you know, we are super besties, we hang out all the time, do fun in-game stuff, because we just bro out like two bros, you know, packing up puggies together, you know, you bond over the, uh, victories you have, and there's so many victories happening that, you know, you just become such tight bros, you know, we don't even have to, like, talk when we're fighting anymore, you know, you just show up, pack them up, game over and like right after this i'm teabagging i'm like yo you're gonna be famous i'm gonna put you on the internet this is getting posted and he's like thanks bro you're my best bro yeah not a big deal you're welcome teabagging your victims is vital to the eso experience if you're not bagging you're not trying you know that's what i always say if you're a templar so i got that destro ulti that's like so much better than crescent sweet you know, drop it up here, fine light, jibby jib jib with the Destro. It is a uh, valid uh, option over the Crescent Sweep. But, you know, each your own. You might not like it. But to me, uh, I like it and uh, I use it and I pack people up with it. So if you want to pack people up, listen to what I'm saying and you too could be a cheap clapper. This is another video of me and Blood. Uh, just, you know, securing uh, my legend in Greyhost as I, I don't want to take all the credit. You know, we both beat these guys, but really it's all about me. You know, I'm a star, I'm famous. You know, I got the sneaker deal. I got I got the air, the air law dogs. You know, it's, it's mainly about me. I'm basically like the Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan, LeBron James of ESO. And everyone needs to recognize that and everyone needs to just pay me my respect, you know? It's really annoying when people whisper me and, you know, ask me for autographs and ask me for builds and, oh my God, it's Law Dog, it's really you, you know, it's just, it's annoying, you know, you try to be cool to the fans, you want to be cool to your fans and your, your subs, but, you know, when you see me out in public, you know, give me some space, let me breathe, you know what I'm saying, let a homie breathe. It's really just, like, frustrating when, like, people, like, won't, like, just show you the respect you deserve, you know? It's like if you saw, like, you know, Mike Tyson in his prime and he's rocking the belt, you say, hey, what's up, champ? People need to start addressing me as the champ, you know? And it really hurts my feelings that they aren't doing that. And, you know, if you're one of my, my, my subs or you're watching this and you see me in the game, just say, what's up, champ, you know? Just be a nice guy. Do the right thing. I'm the best player in the game. At least, you know, at least, you know, recognize it and show me the love that I'm due, right? Like, I don't, I don't get it. If you were the best, I'd be like, hey, what's up, champ? You're the best. But, I mean, you're obviously not because there can only be one champion, and that is me, obviously. You know, but if, I, if, if the shoe was on the other foot, I would give you, you know, your, your, your respect, you know? But uh, 
a lot of players aren't doing that. You know, I get a lot of a lot of haters in the streets. You know, hating on me. I'm shining too bright. You know, once you start shining too hard, you know, all the haters come out of the woodwork. You know, everyone wants to get a clip of me. Everybody wants to fight me, and it's just uh, it's losing battles for them. You know, I mean, I, I hurt a lot of feelings on, on a daily in, 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 in you know these campaigns. Like this guy right here, his feelings are definitely hurt after this. You know, they're definitely hurt. You know, and it's, it's uh, it's all part of it. You know, like I, I wanted, I was gonna say I feel bad, but I really don't feel bad. I actually enjoy when I hurt your feelings. So I, you know, I take pride in hurting these sensitive, sensitive uh, players' feelings. You know, you gotta, you just you gotta teabag these guys. You gotta, you know, insert your dominance and mark your territory, and uh, it's all part of the game. This is a clip here of uh, this guy, like, demanded I duel him, told me he would kill me in 20. It's like the same thing. All these players say the same thing. They're going to pack me up. They're going to beat me. They're going to destroy me. And they just don't. It just doesn't happen. You know, like, I fight five, six guys at once and kill them. You're going to beat me in a duel? Like, it's not happening. Then, though, like, again, you're going to see this guy's going to call me a tank and a, and a healer. You know, if you're wearing Balorgs and New Moon, you're not a tank. If you're wearing two DPS sets, you're not a tank. If you're slotting all DPS and spell damage on your jewelry, you're not a tank. You can't have 5k spell damage with 14,000 penetration and be a tank. It just doesn't work. So, you're ultimately going to see me and this guy uh, duel. This is after the duel we just had. I wanted to show you this first to show you how insane these people are. And then you can actually watch the duel where this guy leaves the duels. He knows he's going to lose. He realizes, like, oh, my God, I can't do any damage to this guy. And they just want immediately, like, when they, when they can't kill you and they can't burst you down with their build, it's because you're a tank. It's not because they are bad at the game and you're really good. It's because, uh, you know, you're just tanking. And that's not true. I don't have sword and board on. You know, I play my tune the right way. If you're on a Templar... You're, they're giving you so much power with your rune and your your extended ritual that you can sit in those hots and I can get 4k uh, health every two seconds. So I'm getting 2k health every second. That's insane. You know, that's an insane amount of, of health to have. And uh, if you're not fighting from your rune and your extended ritual, you're not playing the Templar right. So I can sit in that. I got, if you look at my skills, you'll see I have, I have temp, uh, temp, uh, temp guard on there. So I got minor protection. Then I have flare, so I have major protection. That's 15% damage reduction. Then I have potentes uh, resto staff on. That's another 3% damage reduction. Plus I'm wearing pariah, so that you know I'm at the, the cap mini, uh, the top cap, you know, 34k armor when it procs, so 32. So that's 50% mitigation with top armor. So I'm looking at what is that? 50, 60. 65 68 68 percent mitigation before you even get to my cp and then i put the cp on and i'm, I'm at the cap i'm at 80 percent you know and I'm, I'm wearing light armor so it's not like i'm a tank it's not true when you hear these guys say this nonsense uh i almost killed this guy just with jibs and purifying light so there's plenty plenty of damage on this build you know and i'm trying to build up a 500 ulti so that's what I'm doing here. When you see me heavy wrestling and stuff and fighting for my rune, it's how you should fight. You should just, you should do what I'm doing. This is smart what I'm doing. It gives me sustain. So I'll sit there, I'm getting heals over time, and I'm getting 3K. Uh, look, he's leaving now, he's running. Because the death roll is gonna come out and he is going to explode in a second. You know, and all he did was spam shields. But if he didn't run away and cower out of the fight, I easily would have beat this guy. And this is a guy who's telling me he's going to kill me in 20 seconds. I don't think he got me below 70% health. But, I mean, that's how you do it, guys. That is the key to the game. It's slotting. They give you all this damage mitigation. You know? Put it all on. It'll make you, it'll make you unkillable. With the, the heals from my, uh, you know, my Breath of Life, I'm using Rapid Regen. With all the damage reduction. Then I have the two hots on the ground. It's it's very rare I can be, I'm killed. When I die, it's to Dark Convergence Bombers and uh, gang, you know, gang Blades in the back while I'm fighting somebody else. 
you know, I don't, I don't lose. And uh, it's because I play the character right. You know, if, the, if, if, if you have a Templar, a Magplar, or even a Stamplar, fight from your rune and fight from your extended ritual. That's, those are free heals. Why would you not take those hots? Doesn't make any sense. But, I mean, you know, players are, are going to hate. Once you're good at the game and people can't beat you or kill you, they're going to make up excuses why they can't kill you. You know? And if, uh, if, if you were playing a tank, you'd, you wouldn't be, you'd be wearing two different sets. You wouldn't be wearing DPS sets if you're a tank. You'd have sword and board on if you're a tank. So don't listen to these people when you wear the stuff I'm telling you to wear because it's what every single one of the is doing in the game. There's not an Xer in the game outside of Nightblade that's going three damage sets. It's just not possible to hold aggro with 15 people hitting you uh, <laughs> and, 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 and still kill people if, you're, if you have three DPS sets on. Nightblades can do it because they can go invisible and they can teleport, you know? So that's how those guys are doing it. And if you look, these guys are all talking mess to me. They're following me around. I didn't get a clip of it, but when I was fighting another duel after this, they were all casting, like, uh, what are they called? Uh, I forgot what they're called. I don't even know what they're called. But the things you can cast, and they do, like, an animation. Uh, mementos or something like that, or whatever they're called. And they were, like, trying to, like, you know, obstruct my view of, of, of the person I'm fighting in the duel. And then they'd all be running around on top of me. There's a lot. Like, I have a strong, strong uh, hater fan base that uh wants to see me die and they get so upset that i just i just don't lose you know I, I'll, I'll tell you right now i'll duel anybody in the game and i'm either going to win or it's going to be a draw i cannot be killed on this on my on my magplar it's not happening if it's a straight up duel i'm not i'm not dying no one's beating me and that's not being arrogant or or cocky i think i'm a very good player um but the game has given the game gives you these skills and if you don't use them, you're just not smart. You have so much damage mitigation you can use. You just you can make yourself unkillable. And like I could fight guys like this where I'm just fighting two guys hitting me and I'm not getting killed. How If these guys can't kill me with two people hitting me, how is anyone in the game going to kill me in a 1v1? It's just not happening. I'm too good. So not, not going down. Now I can't do this on certain tunes. I can't do it on a sword. I can't fight uh, outnumbered. I can't 1BX on my sword. You know, I, I can 1BX on my warden. I can't do it on my sword. You know, I'm not I'm not great on a sword. So each you know each tune has different strengths, and uh, you know I have different levels of, of, of skill for each one. You know, but I, if I'm on my magplar, I'll fight anyone, and I know that I'm gonna win or it's gonna be a draw. And I'm fully aware of that every time I fight duels. That's why I don't care when people try to say I I dodge them or I duck them. It's all nonsense. It's all lies. It's just people will come at me, and they think I have an obligation to duel them when they request. Like when they they don't request, they demand it, and they'll be like insulting. You know, like I want to duel you all, dog. So let me insult you and tell you that you suck, and then demand a duel. And you should stop whatever you're crafting or whatever you're doing, because my magpar is also my crafter of pots and armor, right? Everything I, I you know, it's my it's my crafter. It's my first tune. So if I'm out doing something, I'll get like twelve duel requests. And they'll clip it if I, you know, don't accept. You know, like, I don't work for you, you know? But, I mean, people are just ridiculous. And anyway, so, yeah. If you do what I say and you really listen to what I'm trying to help you with, you'll be, you'll be so much better. You know, being tanky is, is the key. And if you're brand new to the game, wear two tank sets. Be a tank. But don't use tank skills, you know? So if you were, like I've said in previous videos, that I've worn like Fortified Brass and Pariah back in the day just to be as tanky as possible, you know? But you'd be better off with, like I said, if you're a stand tune with like Pariah and Vigor or something like that. So, you know, something to sustain, you know, a sustain set and a, and a tank set. And don't worry about killing people. Just worry about learning your rotations. And that's where you're going to get good when you get your rotations down. And then you can graduate into more, more you know, hard-hitting sets. But, you know, it is what it is. The video's over. I'm still talking. Have a good one, guys.